Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and it is time for a Visual Studio Code update. Yes, go on in, check for updates and update it. There is one for the November update available as of now, December the 12th. So uh, what's in this update? Well, last month the update sucked. Uh, basically it was all about updating basically GitHub and Copilot and that was about it. You could really tell Microsoft was using this to sell their services. This month we actually got a bunch of improvements to Visual Studio Code itself, which I do appreciate. So let's jump in and take a quick look at some of the so first one we've got here, this one is actually quite nice. You're gonna notice down here, cat selected, I come on down here, I hit the insert key on my keyboard. You will now notice OVR is written there. We are now in overwrite mode, so I could type something like B, and my cat is now a bat. So you see there, it is an overwrite instead of an insert. If you come from a Vi background, that's something that you definitely would have been missing. Uh, you've also now got the ability, uh, I believe you can configure the keys that used for it. There's also a setting you can use to determine how paste will work well in overwrite mode. That is actually quite nice. Now on the topic of paste, we've got another one. So here you can see I am in a TypeScript file and I'm going to go ahead and copy my class cat. And I'm gonna head on over here to my index file and I'm going to paste it like so, and you're gonna see I'm gonna get this little pop-up here, and I can say paste with imports, and it will automatically pull in the appropriate import files. That is really quite cool. So if you're using TypeScript or JavaScript, you're gonna appreciate this new functionality. By the way, if you prefer, so let's get rid of all of that completely, you can also come in here to settings, so file, uh, preferences, settings, uh, and what you are looking for is editor.pasteas, all right here, so paste as in bed, right there. Uh, and then you can go here, so to your editor settings, and in your paste as preferences, I can actually go ahead and say text.update imports, like this, and save that. And now, if I collect and, and copy this text right here, go over here and paste it, it will bring in it automatically. No more need to actually specify it over here. So if you want that as your default behavior, you can set it accordingly. So another nice update there. Another one, this one is very small and you can currently do it via drag and drop, but now you can pick something like this. I can right click it, I can say move to, and then secondary sidebar. So you can pop things back and forth. I can move it back over, move to, primary sidebar. Again, you used to be able to do this with drag and drop. It's just another way of doing it now. Again, a nice little quality of life feature. Another thing that we have is come on in here and I search for cat like so. Uh, I can now have it persist my history. So when I come back here and do another search, I can do my history and find cat in it so right here. But when I go ahead and I reload my session and I search for my history, you will find there, if I go through my history, cat will be there. You could turn this on or off if you want persistent history to be saved in your workspace. Uh, it is done with editor find history uh, and that is where that setting is located. So if you want to have persistent history on the, actually I'll go ahead and show it to you. Uh, editor like so, find like so, right here and then history, and you can have it save it in the workspace or you can have it not persistent at all. So when you restart up Visual Studio Code, it won't remember the history at all. So it's one of those things, if you constantly do the same searches over and over again, and you want it to persist past closing it, you now have that option available to you. Another little thing that they have improved is this. So let's go ahead and create a new terminal, right? So, and we can do things like this, Bob, boom. So what that is, is a ligature. Um, so here I can do the same thing with equals, like so. So the key thing to this, uh, first off, you need to turn this functionality on. Uh, this is once again done in the settings settings. Uh, here, settings, like so. So if you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on, you go to features, terminal, down here, and then you will find font ligatures somewhere. Uh, I'm sick of searching. Or you could just come up here and search for ligat sure and right there so you turn it on or off right here another key thing here is your font family needs to support ligatures so in this case i'm using JetBrains mono which does support ligatures if you are using the out of the box font it probably does not have ligature support so this setting will do absolutely nothing and then we have another setting here that i honestly don't know why you would ever do this uh, but it is an option so you can now go into workbench uh, and your navigation and do, 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 do. navigation controls enabled or disabled. You have the option of turning this off or on. As far as I can tell, you just lose the backboard right here. 
Don't know why you would really want to do this. I don't see getting much back from it. But the cool thing is you can now do that. So we also come down here. I'll go to the help. Again, your update, check for updates right here. It will require a restart. And then you will have the release notes for the full uh, November 2024 release. There is a bunch more in here. Of course, you have all of your obligatory Copilot crap that's available here. They always start the release notes off with Copilot stuff. But again, not complaining because at least this month, we got other features in this release. Last month was really frustrating. This month, back to being a good update. But one other thing that I want to talk about is improvements that they've done uh, is the, f there it is, find, Oop. There, find an explorer. So in September, they introduced the ability to find files in the explorer across the entire project. Capability was previously unavailable. However, the update was temporarily removed, highlighting modes and certain and limited certain actions. In this release, we're bringing back highlighting modes. This feature allows you to easily locate files and folders across your workspace with matching results highlighted for better visibility. Additionally, we've introduced a new visual indicator on collapsed folders that show if matches are hidden by them, like these little twos you saw there a second ago. Um, there. There, that shows that there's a match in a nested down folder. Uh, the filter toggle remains available, enabling you to focus only on files and folders that match your query by hiding non-matching items. We also re-enabled all context menus uh, we had to disable in the previous release. So kind of a new feature, kind of a restoring of previous features, but it is nice to see. So uh, there is more to this release for sure, but those were the highlights in my humble opinion. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is Visual Studio Code November update. Again, nice to see actual updates to Visual Studio Code. I think obviously the big one is going to be, I do like this new paste functionality. This, this is pretty nice. Um, it's, it's useful, it's handy, uh, especially if you're working JavaScript, TypeScript, obviously. Uh, the, the persistent history, again, useful to certain people. Uh, and I think the big thing is going to be this new overwrite mode uh, like this. It's just something that people are really used to, and it's here now. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Visual Studio Code. What do you think? Let me know. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.